meeting somebody new here in the pit area. Rob Williams is all the way up here from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. He actually works with the SCDRA, the northeast part of that division. We'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But four cylinders are actually visiting the track here at Land of Legends today, and they may not be, at least the car you're seeing in the shot here, is not like a lot of the four cylinders you may see at other tracks. So these are the cars you've seen racing at places like Bristol uh, and, and Eldora and places like that. I guess uh, it might even be safe to call it the next generation four cylinder. Rob Williams joining us right now. Rob, first of all, how we doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming, man. So this is this is definitely an interesting looking car. This is not like what we see at most places where they're kind of four cylinder stocks almost. What are some of the biggest differences between this car and one we'd see at some other racetracks? Uh, for us, for the SCDRA rule package, we uh, we are allowed one third aluminum bodies. So. As you can see, like with my car, I run like the aluminum doors, aluminum pillars, but everything else, stock fender, stock hood, stock rear quarter, stock roof even. Um, for us, we still have to run stock suspension. Uh, we're allowed to modify some of the mounting points or brace in, stiff in, cut springs, stuff oh, like that. Oh, okay. But they still have to be a stock component. Uh, we're not allowed nothing adjustable on suspension. So what you make is what you have. Okay, so, uh, what about transmission, stuff like that? Uh, we're allowed welded transmission. Uh, pretty much everywhere has switched over to that recently. I mean, it's pretty much a handling purpose. It definitely helps cars that don't have a welded transmission. It makes a big difference. Okay, what about things like brake bias adjusters and things like uh, that? No, we, we have to run stock brake system still. Oh, so no bias adjuster nope. at all? Nope. Okay. So. All right. How about the tires? Uh, any DOT tire that's not that is a street legal non-performance tire. What do we how, what do we consider to be a non-performance tire? Well, it sounds got, like some wording that yeah, <laughs> people could play with. Maybe there, there's some. Uh, what do you want to say? Some of the lower treadwear tires that, like, uh, I'm trying to remember the name, like the Falcons that are. They look like a DOT tire, but they don't even have a DOT number on them. Oh. So they're not legal because of that. that like I see. So it has to be a DOT street legal tire. Fuel? Uh, any fuels allowed. Okay, any pump gas, or yeah. you can even run yeah, racing like, fuel. Uh, I run 110. Some people run E85. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of some people, depending on their motors and their setups, are just 87, okay. 93, depending on them. Where do these cars run? Cars like these? Uh, for us, for me and my series, um, this year we had a total of uh, 11 races scheduled. Uh, we had a few rainouts, unfortunately. That's that's how Nature it goes. Of the business. But we have hit. Uh, we started our year out at Midway in Ohio for 2,500 to win. After that, we went to, oh, now put me on the spot. Okay, well, you but, said you went to Eldora, right? Yeah, that was uh, Eldora. We were there about a month ago. Uh, that was a actually a SCDRA versus Voorhees series, mm -hmm. and the Voorhees is a asphalt four-cylinder series. Oh, I we, see. That we actually ran uh, in conjunction together. Uh, oh. We went to Bristol back in March. That was yes, a, I saw four cylinders on the track. That was you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So the cars that, looked great. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, definitely, they just announced yesterday the classes for next year for that. So we'll be there again next year. Nice. So what do we have? What What's the range? I mean, because I know that you know, a sportsman nowadays, it's thirty-five minus motor. You're talking about close to fifty thousand for a car. Yeah. I've heard maybe forty thousand dollars for some of these street stocks. Hobby stocks are in the teens. What What's the range, high and low on uh, these? I would say the low range. You could build an SCDRA caliber car, anywhere from three to five thousand. Are you serious? Yeah. Motor and everything. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you do. There's a. I'm not a Honda guy. I'm a Chevy guy. But okay. the, some of the Honda guys, you can put a stock Honda motor together and have. 260 horsepower stock wow because it's just and then you have the chevy guys like me we just want to be that unique person yeah yeah and uh i've always said like some of our big races there'll be 30 scd there'll be 30 cars in the starting feature and 25 of them are hondas oh really it's and that much honda okay i just will always want to be that chevy guy that has a chance with okay. those guys but now, there's guys out there that spend 10, 15 grand on some of these, just like, mm -hmm. just like it's racing. So if how they much of that is motor? Uh, I would say for like me personally, I can't speak for everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like we have probably thirty-five to four thousand dollars in the motor. Okay, not bad. So, and, and we had one issue with our motor this year, but. That's racing. Okay, that is racing. Now I see a lot of the kids, a lot of younger people are not getting into this like we did. How old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm 60. Yeah, I'm 39. Okay. I'm 38. You're, you're, you're fairly young then. Yeah. But I would think this would be nice for that kid who has a tuner and has always wanted to do some form of racing but doesn't find drag racing exciting. I could see how this would be perfect Absol for absolutely. them. Absolutely. They can relate. Like the kids yeah. in the stands yes. can be like, hey, that's a Honda Civic. Yeah, that's I a love Chevy that, that year Honda. Yeah. And mm -hmm. 
next thing you know, we get a lot of people that just they go out to their junkyard pick up a cheap car and build something and then they're hooked yeah that's so, what we want right yep, absolutely and this class we're, i know we're the lowest class we're four cylinders i understand that. yes but it's the future of racing in, our, in my opinion because people can't afford a like you right. said a thirty thousand dollar right roller for another class uh, right i see these pure stocks around where i race back home in pa we race for 300 bucks on a normal night just a normal payout 300 that's not bad for, right pure here stocks they get 125 135 maybe pure stocks race for 300 bucks too yeah that's nice and we're a tenth of the cost because i think that's one of the biggest things that's happening in racing as it gets more professional it gets more expensive and it gets out of the range of the people who 30 40 years ago would have been able to afford to race yes how can people find out more about the SCDRA? Uh, we have uh, two ways you can contact us, SCDRA Northeast on Facebook, and then uh, www.scdranortheast.com is our website. Okay. It stays up to date, our current schedule's on both. Uh, actually, next weekend we'll be in Hilltop out in Ohio for a 2500 to win Yeah, I saw race. the purse. This is really nice Well, purse. and then, <laughs> well, I think Tom showed you the Halloween Havoc purse. Oh, okay. Our Halloween Havoc race, which I try to... Tell, remind everyone about but that's a uh, last weekend of october it's a it's a three-day show two first really? days practice two days of racing but it's ten thousand to win four cylinders four hundred dollars just to take the green it's thirty one thousand dollar payout for 28 cars and i think the non-qualifiers race was 1500 to win Correct. or yep. something like no, that 1500 so. to win if you for the non-qualifier race so for some of you guys who maybe have gotten out of racing maybe it's priced you out Hey, you know, this might be uh, yeah. something, and they're all front-wheel drive, right? Everything's front-wheel drive, four-cylinder only. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the northern-tier tracks in PA run V6s, but we don't allow V6s. Okay, gotcha. Good to meet you. I hope things go well for you, Rob. And for those of you guys who are watching, you know, who might not know much about it, just uh, look him up. Uh, go to SD, SCDRA slash Northeast on Facebook and find out more information. I can't okay. wait to see this thing go around a track, Thank man. <laughs> so good to meet you, and I hope you have fun. Maybe I'll see you at the end of the night.